you have a memory where you just bombed? You know when you, you're bombing, you got to dig yourself out? Have you ever had one where you don't get out? Yeah. I got two, one, two of my crazy memories. One time, some dude laughed so hard at the show, he came out of the closet to his buddies just right in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, he's just like, ah, yeah! It's like fucking literally like jarred something in his, in his stem, you know? <laughs> And his buddies are like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? It's right up by the front. You made him laugh so hard, he just admitted he's gay. One of his buddies spit milk or spill it on, not milk, um, beer. Yeah. You know? Uh, <laughs> I'm gay. Yeah. And his buddies are like, what the fuck, dude? And it was awkward because it seemed kind of real. Yeah. So, I mean, I've had people say a lot of stuff. You're like, that guy's retarded. But this guy seemed like he might have been honestly homosexual. <laughs> and then the other time that I really bombed was, because um, I'm not trying to fucking you know, bringing anybody to the other side of the sexual ledger, you know? Well, oh, yeah. Fuck Did I fall asleep yeah. one time? This cop wakes me up, right? <laughs> he goes, did you did you see them? Do you know where they're at? And I'm like, what the fuck? I have no idea what's going on, right? He goes, somebody called in. Two wolves were fighting in the street here, right? <laughs> so, wolves. dude, I'm at an intersection of this dead town, bro. I, used to, uh, I lived in this side town for a little while during high school. Fell asleep at the fucking wheel, right? So I'm dead asleep. This cop wakes me up, right? He's like, did you see it? And I'm just like, what? what? I'm just thinking, what was it? You know, did I do it? Was I involved in it? Who am I? And he's like talking to somebody else. The other guy was probably just across the street, you know? <laughs> and he's like, two, somebody called it in. Two wolves fighting in the intersection. And I'm like thinking, uh, we don't even have wolves in Louisiana, you know? So how are you really out here looking for that? But also, shouldn't you also be crying? Yeah, but also you have you a two drunk fighting? driver who's obviously stalled out at a stoplight. <laughs> Hey, bro, wait yeah, yeah. Wait, he's the worst cop of all time. Yeah, the worst. Oh, my the worst. God. And they'd be like, all right, if you see anything, let us know. And they were out. No oh. problem, officer. <laughs> see you like catching wolves fighting. <laughs> Damn you wolves. You drunk as fuck. Don't start. Let them get electrocuted. It's all right. We need somebody to get electrocuted on this show. Yeah. <laughs> I got electrocuted when I was younger, man. Actually, you know who saved me, bro? I was a brother saved me, man. And I don't know if you're out there. Would you stop already? You got electrocuted. Yeah, the you fair. Are. At the fair, they used to let us. They they used to let us come in a day early to the fair and test the rides. We didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't know we were getting it. Thirty cents. Get on the rides. Look at Please on the ones and twos now. <laughs> like a fucking. You look like a fucking M and M. Humans. Yeah, just okay. people that are just <laughs> smoking their own dicks out there who have no real light. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I've met some people who, yeah, they're breathing, but. That's it, yeah. really. Yeah, this idea know? that we're all created equals. You've never met anybody that's a genius, if you say that. I've met some people that I'm like, I talk to them, I go, oh, I'm like a monkey yeah. compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Dude, I talked to your buddy Eddie Bravo, and that guy is a real. He's out there. He's like a ja he's like a deaf, like a deaf Jack Russell almost, you know? A deaf Jack Russell? Yeah, because once he gets going, you can't. Oh, Jack Russell Terrier? Yeah. You ever been around one of those dogs? You open the car, and then the next thing you know, they're at the, yeah. They're like sick, yeah. But well, how's he deaf? Because you can't get him back. Like, once he goes, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't get him back in the car. Oh, he's a deaf like, you're Jack sitting there honking the horn. You can't. That guy's out there. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking about, but I've never heard anybody make a, a, a description like that. A deaf oh. Jack Russell Terrier. That is hilarious. He's extravagant, dude. Yeah. The car opened the window and listened to it. And the three white dudes walked away. He just tuned in. Fuck yeah. What Dude, we, bro, you never get to see a good fucking smack a root. No. Not oh, not, especially not on the not on the West Coast, no, dude. You never get to you see it. You see a shooting or You that's see a it. lot more smack and smack a roos where you're from. Oh, you know? down south. I saw a brother take a bite out of a Vietnamese guy once, dude. <laughs> Took a bi huge bite out of his fucking arm, bro. Meat and everything, bro. Ripped oh, it right out. Jesus. The Vietnamese guy was like threatening him with all this karate shit and everything, and his brother just grabbed him and fucking bit right into him, dude. <laughs> Right if you think about it, it, that's the way to do it. Oh, yeah. That stops karate all the time. Because oh, yeah. I don't care what type of karate you got, they ain't got no defense for the bite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nobody got. Well, what if a motherfucker goes to bite you? <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. I got to call the main jab and fuck it. Oh, yeah. I want to get these Hold tests. on. Let me put my Komodo on, dude. And they bite your ass, dude. And you oh. remember that every time you try oh. to fucking hug somebody and if you got a little divot in oh. it. 
You know, you got a speed bump in your fucking hug. Why did I let Lee talk me into eating mushrooms on a Wednesday night? Like, look at your head, Lee. <laughs> look at Lee, bro. Open your eyes, bro. I can't. Damn, dude. What the fuck? Lee, you're already fucked up. You, you gave me 800 before the Oh, we're in training. I told one. you. When you go down yeah, the fuck, Lee. when you join the Marines, they don't send you to yeah. Miami. You know, with a fucking seagull. No, they send you to fucking Paris Island debt. What Marines are they putting Lee in? My own private Marines. Oh, yeah, this is the church. What's church. happening now, though? I love it, bro. We got our own Marines. They Look, come in all shapes and sizes. Amen. Well, then listen, Lee's amen. got a use in the Marines. When you, you know, no, know. I don't. Weird place. And it's one thing that's unique to me is my childhood and my perspective of it, you know? Yeah, it, it, it will, you, grew up, you grew up in... I grew up in Covington, Louisiana. And our town's famous. Um, Lee Harvey Oswald went to our middle school. Uh, <laughs> Pistol, Pete, Pistol Pete Maravich lived and died in our town. Really? Uh, two good shooters. That's the joke that I use off of that. <laughs> um, but like Tulane University had their primate testing facility in our town. It's where most people worked at, right? So, and in 1994, like 70 infected monkeys got out in our town, and they literally, the police came to YMCA summer camp and let the oldest kids leave to help them look for these monkeys, right? Are you serious? Yeah. And I remember like. Like, guys, they had guys with, like, rebel flags in their truck. I'm like, it's not a racial thing, guys. This is, these are fucking 70, these are chimpanzees and macaws that are loose around town, you know? This isn't a gang that's moved in, you know? Uh, But I remember me and a couple of other kids, I still remember having a wet bathing suit on, cornering a fucking chimpanzee outside of a Kenny Rogers Roasters with a police officer. And three other kids, like, <laughs> rah, 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 you know, by this drive through And this fucking fat elf of a woman honking at us. Like, we're ruining her, you know, dream shake she's buying or whatever. <laughs> and her fucking cornbread. But we're trying to fucking Shut. save our town from a fucking... Who knows what this from, monkey from, had? From a maybe fucking yellow Planet fever. of the Apes apocalypse. Yeah, maybe something Walter Reed missed. Could have been yellow fever. <laughs> um, what... Wait... I really feel like I grew up in the stray animal belt of Louisiana, and they don't really have this anymore because everybody has pets now. But they had a long time where there was just, I felt like thousands of strays running around. Like Joey Diaz, his, he got bit by animals. I got jumped by a bunch of cats on my birthday once, dude. I'm not even joking, dude. And one of them, I swear to God, some of them got me on the ground, and one of them came off a fucking rooftop from next door. I swear to God, I still remember a couple of them were getting me and looking back and seeing one come from something in the air. And uh, and they had tons of stray animals where I was from. You couldn't, you had to infuse that in everything you did, wherever you went, or if you were going to bike or play ball. I got jumped by a bunch of cats. cats. <laughs> and that'll make you feel like a little bitch, too. I mean, first of all, your dad's dying, and now there's cats jumping you. Oh. It's just really. But anyway, oh. so I was like, we used to pull these bodies oh. off of the interstate and bury them off the highway, right? Holy shit. Because dogs were getting hit there. I mean, literally, they were fucking piling up. You know? <laughs> And I remember one time we found a bunch of nudie mags in the ground. Somebody had hit a bunch of, you know, pornography in the dirt. And I remember we got down and somebody then, had we realized, I'd never seen any sex before, right? So somebody, somebody cut out all the pictures of the actual insertion points in these magazines. There was probably 11 pornography magazines. Club, some of the older ones. Club, finer ones, I thought, actually. Yeah. Uh, penthouse. Um, but where the exact penis and vagina insertion point happened and in every picture, somebody cut that out and taking it with them, I guess. And I don't know if they did it because they didn't want people to see that or they wanted to have it all, you know? But I remember this weird shit like that. And that's when I started to realize this shit didn't happen to everybody. Like for some reason, God put all this weird shit in front of me. And so those are the things that I need to focus on. And that's when I started thinking that I became a little bit more confident because, I know what I'm talking about, I think. What do you mean? Like, I know what I'm... T- like, I'm explaining a place that I know, you know? Yeah. It's not like I'm trying to be like... Oh, when you started talking about where you grew up yeah, on stage, you got more things. confidence. You knew what you were talking about. Yeah, I knew what I was talking about. So that just helped with my confidence. So now I can tell some older jokes and bits, and there's more confidence there. But now I'm also being able to just tell new stories and still keep that same perspective that I had with these other... Bits. Was there racism in Covington? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said the store one night, you know, like last week, some guy got found with 30 pounds of hamster bones. You know, they did in my town. They just busted the, the, a man. It just doesn't. Right away, you got to stop what you're doing in that conversation and giggle because yeah. nine out of ten people wouldn't be proud that that happened in their hometown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they wouldn't even oh, mention it. God. If somebody comes up to me and goes, uh, 
Are you from New Orleans? Not really. I'm from Texas. Wait a second. I got to go. You know, you, you get to that point. Most fucking people would be embarrassed to say something like that. Or it would take them 10 minutes after everybody told their story yeah. to say, oh, by the way, there's a guy. I'm like, no, we were just talking. It's too oh, yes, dude. Yeah. We were I ready remember. to go home. And you came out with it. And I'm fucking, me and Lee were dying in the car. Like, <laughs> what's he talking about? Hamster meat. What the fuck is he talking about? And that's yeah, they busted him, man. Listen, dog, they got him. What if? Thank God. <laughs> Damn. I like the like. It's like they got him. No, I'm they glad got they got him, dude. Thirty pound bag of hamster one. Like, I mean, that's because you have to. There's not as much meat. There's very little bone in a hamster, bro. Them oh. hams got a ham probably has like a quart, like an eighth of an ounce in its chest plate, bro. You can't even make a wish on their bones. You know, there's nothing in there. Where so, do you get all those hamsters from? That's it. Well, they breed them in our town. I used to work for this group. They used to sell tattooed hamsters and guinea pigs after... Uh, they tattoo them? Yeah, they used to brand them with concerts and raves. They would say it's tattooed just to make people not be as sad about it. But it was a brand, bro. A brand, bro. <laughs> of what? With like a heat and ink, bro. For what? Like what did it say? Uh, 311, Green Day, anything like of different bands that were coming to town. <laughs> Toadies. <laughs> Swear to God, up. bro. Toadies, Acid Bath. Uh, who else? Uh, rave. Whatever, bro. We used to truck these hamps into the city and fucking vend them, bro. <laughs> we did, man. Because there wasn't much there wasn't much work in our town, dude. You know, you had to get what you could get. And they had a man that bred hamsters. And, uh, and then they had to do the, the tattoos, and they fucking met up, and that was a merger. That's big business, you know? And they started, uh... A merger? They started doing it. Man, <laughs> I got me some 300 mouse in my house and shit, and some other guy's like, you know what, man? I'm a pretty good tattoo artist. <laughs> <laughs> that's Louisiana, man. and that's it. A merger is formed. <laughs> that means someone listening to this right now has had a hamster with like a band label on it. Like, Who the fuck it? buys a hamster? Listen, if I went to a concert, do you think I'm bringing a hamster home with fuck fucking yeah. ACDC? No, I'm not. No, I'm no, not. I'm, I'm about gonna be, to rock. I'm gonna be oh, fucked yeah. up the whole night with this hamster in my but pocket. But when you leave, when you leave, Coco, when you leave the place, that's when we get you, bro. You get it there. People are leaving. They're on ecstasy pills. They're on Molly. You leave. You get that fucking hands. You get that warm little piece of God in their hands. They buy it every time. Yeah. Bro. A lot of black people, and I will say this, because this is really factual, and I've spent a lot of time around, <laughs> you know, in the dark arts, and I don't mean that's not black people in general. That's <laughs> the dark that's art. voodoo. That's black magic. That's everything. Black magic. That's New Orleans. Voodoo, son. That's, that's the Louisiana. underground. Yep. You know, I grew up in a mixed neighborhood, dude, and uh, black people don't really know. They don't differentiate between indoors and outdoors. <laughs> what do you mean? Outdoors can be indoors, dude. What do you mean? Outdoors can be indoors. Black person, you can put them outdoors, and you put them indoors. Same volume levels, same speed. There's no inside voice. There's no. There's zero inside. There's voice. no etiquette when you go indoors. Well, they just don't. I don't. I don't think they believe in like a lot of structures and. I don't know. If, I don't want to say woodwork, but I want to say overall that they the difference between indoors and outdoors when it comes to it's most so black incredibly people, it's so incredibly vaguely racist. It's so like, funny though. It's so funny. They, they say that no, there's no true. filter. No, what they say yeah, when you're poor. It's true. But a lot of people who are poor, but it, it's a socioeconomic thing. So a lot of people that are poor, a lot of times, I guess, have to rely on each other. Like they notice shit that that say rich people wouldn't notice. Yeah. Because they have to because they the. You, you're kind of relying on your neighbor on usually sharing a bathroom. There's a lot of stuff. People are on you. The people, people. And, and the it people. creates people. Yeah, and you got yeah. and it creates sort of a this this feeling of competition. Where but that like, doesn't well, mean you way. can't lower your voice when you're in the mall or in the theater. Right, and that's just what I'm saying. That's his point. Right, yeah, I want to yeah. be heard. Yes. Yeah, a lot of my black friends even do not. Pra yeah, they don't have indoor voices. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I think I use too many words. <laughs>